And here on campus, the Syracuse bus schedule can be an issue for many students. Citrus TV's Brandon Myers reports on one student's creative solution. Whether you live on South Campus or you're visiting a friend, waiting for the bus is no enjoyable experience. But SU sophomore Noah Thompson has come up with a unique solution, a student carpool service. To me, it really feels like Syracuse isn't in full control over the buses. And it feels like outsourcing to the other, like to the city's buses, like it's a good idea. It allows there for to be more transportation and for it to flow quicker. But there's so many times that the buses are late where it says one time on the app and the buses don't come at that time. The idea behind convenience based carpool is that if you're someone who has a car and you're driving to your class that starts at the same time as my class anyway, there's no inconvenience to you. Now, the way the carpool system works is that it splits up students into both riders and drivers. Riders will meet drivers at their car on South Campus every morning and get driven to class on Main at just the low cost of $5 per week. But the question for many riders, including Alex Petro, is whether they trust students to get them to class on time. That's kind of my only thing. I mean, obviously it would depend and we're kind of all in this experience. You know, it's all just like a learning experience for all of us, but like I'd definitely be willing to give it a try. In my opinion, if you're driving yourself, I feel like it's not any really any more dangerous to drive somebody else. I would hope that you're going to know that if you are someone who gets affected by all sorts of distractions or having people in your car um, and you would kind of be aware of that. Despite a concern of trust, it may be worth the payout compared to the $164 it costs to park on South Campus per semester. I don't think that's bad, but also I don't want to charge students a whole bunch, but also like you have to account for gas money and things like that, as long as it's kind of like an equal system. The incentive for people who have cars would be that they would get paid just a little bit of money, nothing super crazy, nothing like Uber where you're getting paid each and every time you drive, but it's just a little something to make it better for you than it is inconvenient. Brandon Myers, Citrus TV News. If you are interested in joining the Convenience Carpool, you can scan the QR code on your screen to join the group me.